In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your NVIDIA Shield screen and where to view the files once you have your screen recorded. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to record your NVIDIA Shield screen. Now this will work on any NVIDIA Shield. You just have to make sure that you have the proper settings set up. So as you can see, I am recording my screen right now to do this video. The first thing we need to do to get this working is go into the settings, go to device preferences, go to system and go to nvidia share now this has to be on for this to work so you make sure this setting is set to on and we can just back out of this all right so we are back on our home screen and to get to that all we need to do is hold down the circle button so you can see that i'm currently recording I've been recording for 2 minutes and 20 seconds. And you can also broadcast with this. You can do screenshots. And you can also do instant replays. There is an option to use a microphone if you had one connected to your device. You can turn on and off comments. And you, these are the settings here. This is the most important section here. So there are some Twitch settings. You can change the quality. I currently have an Ultra, which is 1080p. High would be 720p. I believe medium is 540, and low is 480. You can also change the status, which is shown in the upper right hand corner. I currently have it on detailed and that's why it told us 1080p, but let's change it to simple and see what that looks like. There are also some settings for the mic volume where you could change the gain on your mic volume. And there are some advanced settings here for a just layout. So those are pretty much the settings. So now what we can do is we can go ahead and back out of this. Now you see in the upper right hand corner, all it shows is a microphone with a slash through it because I'm not using the microphone on the device and a little green recorder. So now we can just stop the recording by going into the menu again, holding the circle, go to the record and choose on that and tap stop. Now to get to your files, I've installed the TV File Commander app, free, just go and download that. And when you open this up, to find your files, the easiest way is just go to Videos. Once in Videos, you can go to Internal Storage. And in here, you would have all of your recordings. And you can tap on one, and then this is actually a recording that we're looking at. Kind of confusing because obviously the uh, recording looks exactly like we are on our device. But you can see that this status is now in the upper right hand corner. And we can go back out of that, and we're back to our recordings here. Now you can also go down, and instead of going into the videos, you can go into internal storage and then they are going to be stored on your device under movies game recordings and then here are all of the recordings that we've done so i hope you found that video helpful as you can see it is very easy if you have any problems or have any questions just leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video